Welcome back to an episode of Ardishko was an idiot today. Now, what you're seeing on screen is Mulvad VPN. The VPN I use on a daily basis most of the time. Now, Mulvad is uh, probably one of the only anonymous VPNs out there. But that's not the point I'm, I, was, I'm, I want to uh, make in this video. Now, I thought for a few days that my ISP had blocked this VPN because, you know, Turkey has censorship. We don't really have VPNs that really work all that much. Like, for, for example, Proton VPN is blocked, and I can understand that because Proton VPN prides itself on the three VPN connections that it delivers by default for free. Now, with MoveAd, you pay five, um, five euros a month, my bad. Five dollars, five euros, something like that. And yeah, that, that's basically how much you pay. Now, I usually wouldn't spend five euros on anything monthly, but I had bought this subscription once, and it's not something you need to opt out of. So I thought, hey, why not just give it a try, right? Since it's, it, it works with credits instead of a subscription model. But... Uh, I use it for a month on my computer and in the background I also use Tailscale uh, to connect to my own uh, server. Uh, I never thought of uh, setting up a reverse proxy like Naginx or Caddy, Caddy, Caddy. Okay, I, I can't say that, but anyway, the point is I was running two WireGuard based uh, VPNs at the same time. Tailscale is itself is a VPN, I mean considered one, kind of I don't know why it's considered a VPN. It's just a network you connect to, but I digress. So that's exactly what happened. Uh so I had two of them running at the same time. And then well, for a month it was fine but then one day I woke up and then I saw that when I was connected to Mulvad they had I mean I had no internet connection so I thought huh maybe my ISP blocked it since they saw my traffic going through some sort of VPN but like at the back of my mind I started thinking how the fuck did they know I I'm using tunnels I'm using obfuscated stuff like it's like I, I thought it would be impossible to uh, have this running, so, right? Yeah, I thought it would be impossible. So, what ended up happening was... Essentially, right now, you're seeing on screen that I'm connected to the VPN pretty easily. I mean, it, it doesn't, there, there doesn't... There isn't anything wrong in this screen. And there never was, of course. I never thought that it was the VPN's fault. Then I started thinking, maybe Mulvad actually has something wrong with it. Because I emailed them, they told me to do a bunch of things. Hey, change your settings to only use, let's say, uh, OpenVPN with TCP and the TCP port being t uh, 443, which is HTTPS. If they block that port, my, if my ISP blocks that port, I would essentially not be able to connect to the internet as a whole so of course it should be open so I can just route my VPN traffic through there and the bridge mode is uh, basically just a traffic obfuscation thing you know just for just to make fingerprinting and tracking harder for ISPs like they, uh, you don't want to see I mean you don't want them to see that you're using Molvad so you use this that that's that's the uh, that's the solution in this case now like i said uh, a few minutes ago or jesus it's been 4 minutes like i said uh, that my internet started not connecting uh, after 30 days of using this and it was random to me too because it used to work before it doesn't i didn't do anything different i didn't set up anything related to networking at all <clears throat> But I think I did an update that basically made it so 
that when I connected to the tail scale uh, network, it essentially you try to use the same ports as Molvad and it would not route my internet through Molvad. I thought that my ISP had blocked me, but apparently it was me being a fucking idiot. Now you can see, for example, right here. Uh, there it is. You can see it works completely fine. My recommendations are, I mean, my subscriptions are horrible. Okay, well, alright, whatever. Yeah, but it works now. I'm connected through Sweden, right? Yeah, basically. I can go and switch mess myself over to fucking Hong Kong if I wanted. I mean, that's not going to really happen, but... Let's go to Germany, right? Let's... Let's go to the place with great beer. Reload the page, and for some reason the reload button is not there. And we're in Sweden again. Why the hell is that happening? I'll tell you why, because the entry is... Nope. No. Is it because I need to reconnect to the VPN for it to take effect? Yep, that was it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it works now because I disconnected from the Tailscale network. I wasted five euros and 20 days of my fucking life trying to figure this thing out. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> well, yeah, so at the end of the day, Ardishko was an idiot today. And thank you for watching. Like if you subscribed. Yeah. <laughs>